different and kind of go over what my current nail routine is and kind of just my hand care routine because I feel like it has kind of changed recently because I need even more hydration than normal since we're all using a ton more hand sanitizer and cleaning products that are drying out our skin. So as you can see, both of my hands have no nail polish on them at the moment. I have already filed my nails down because it's really hard to film, but I will talk about the files that I use. So my favorite file is a glass file by Herewine NYC. You can use both sides of it and it has this nice little sleeve that it goes in and it's just my absolute favorite. It leaves the edge of my nail so nice. It doesn't have a ton of that like fraying edge that you get when you file your nail. And this thing lasts forever. I have had it for two or three years now and it's still like perfect. So definitely my favorite file and I only file in one direction. I know some people don't necessarily follow that guideline, but I do follow it because that's what I was taught and that's just what I continued. Now I only do this to square off my nails. And then for the corners, I use this file by Flowery. Flowery? That's a hard word to say. Um, it has this side, which is very, very, well, I think high grit is the small grit. I don't know. You know how the scale works. This doesn't take off a ton of your nail. It really allows you to kind of smooth the edges, which I really like. And then the green side will take off a bit more of the nail, but it's still very minimal impact with this file. So you can really kind of shape your nail and get to nice rounded corners so your square corners don't snag on clothing and things like that. So that is my favorite combination of files. Now when it comes to my other hand that y'all don't really see that much, I keep that hand, sh this hand shorter in general because I do a lot of writing and my hand, like my nails tend to touch my hand more and I don't want it like digging into my skin. So I do keep this hand shorter. So I tend to just use this file by INM. This is called a shaper and I think it's 150. It's really hard to see, but I think that says 150. And this is the INM file. It takes off a lot of length at in a quick amount of time, which I do like for this hand because like I said, I keep it shorter and I kind of just want it to be quick. And plus I find that it's like awkward to bend that hand to file. So I do find this to be my favorite thing to file with for this hand. And I also would like use this on my toes because I never cut my nails. Well, I do toenails, but I don't cut my actual fingernails. I just file them. I file them about once a week, I would say, to take down the length or I kind of just keep them at the same length and kind of just like maintain the shape so I don't have to cut them and like put any breaks in the nail bed. So that is my kind of filing routine. So now when it comes to taking off nail polish, I use the Target store brand Plump. It, it's kind of hard to see on here, but it is called the Strengthening Nail Polish Remover. And I have the pump version, but you can buy just a bottle of it, which is what I do to refill the pump because you don't need to spend four dollars every time you need more nail polish remover you can pay some odd cents and get just the big bottle and then refill your pump uh this one has been out of stock a lot recently at target but if you're lucky and you're in there you might be able to find it now for like a lot of glitter if i don't have a peel off base on i will go ahead and kind of like splurge and use an acetone and when it comes to an acetone, I also use the Target brand. This is the raw bottle. I had to get that polish remover because they were out of my other one. Um, I use 100% acetone from Target as well, but I don't just use that. I actually will add an acetone additive into my polish. So let me go grab a bottle of that additive. It This one is by Moonshine Manny and it's in the scent Orange Dream Sickle. But I've had other scents and I will add this into my acetone bottle once I've used a little bit out of it. So it actually helps hydrate your nails while you're using the super drying acetone. Which I really like because it doesn't like turn down the power of the acetone. Like it still gets off the glitter really quickly. But I also don't have to <laughs> dry out my nails an insane amount. So I like the Moonshine Mani one because you can uh, like get the scents to match your top coats, which is also really cool. 
So I do use that in 100% acetone, but I don't often use 100% acetone. It's very far and few in between times where I do that. So after I've removed my nail polish, if I'm doing like a full nail care routine, I then usually go in and use a cuticle remover. So we're actually gonna do this right now. So I use the cuticle remover pen from Glisten and Glow. It's in this nice little cranky bottle. You can also get the blue one from Sally Hansen's. I do like that. You can pick that up at Target or Walmart. But you just crank it up, you apply it to your cuticles, which this one is in the scent Witch's Brew. This is an older one. I just finished one of the pens the other day. So I think this was a fall release. So you probably can't get it, but they have lots of scents. Um, I like to leave it on the cuticle space for a little bit of time, but because my hands are already like hyd not hydrated, but they're already wet from the cuticle remove from the nail polish remover. Words are hard right now. Um, I feel like it goes a little bit quicker, but it is advised to keep it on for 30 seconds. So by the time you've done both hands, you're probably good to go ahead and move on. We can start to push back the cuticles on this one. And this will also help like get rid of any of the cuticle that is laying on the nail. This hand is maintained pretty well and you don't have a ton of the cuticle hanging over because this is the hand that you guys see the most. So I've obviously been kind of training the cuticles the most on this hand for the longest amount of time anyway. The other hand, I tend to slack off on these things, but since quarantine, you could say, I have definitely been doing it a lot more, which has helped the overall nails. But like I said, I keep them short, so I try to just kind of keep them. Well, I used to not even paint the other hand that much, which is kind of terrible. But lately I've been painting it a lot because I like looking at it when I'm drawing. And whenever I film little segments of me drawing on my iPad or in a notebook, you see that hand. So I kind of like having it painted now more so. And I just took off the polish that I had on there. So that's why we're actually doing both hands today. So as you guys can see that, those are all good to go. I feel like this one had the most I actually had to push back, but you can kind of see where it turned into like a cloudy white there. That's actually like the cuticle bits that were adhered to the nail coming off, which is great. And this hand's definitely the easier one. If you have a super pesky cuticle and you definitely don't want to cut it, definitely be sure to leave on the cuticle remover for a longer amount of time. So at this point, you would traditionally like go to your bathroom, your sink or something and wash this off. I'm just gonna use some nail polish remover and quickly glaze it off because I'm gonna go wash my hands in a minute. And right now I'm trying to like not wash my hands a ton when I'm at home. Not, I shouldn't say that. I don't need to excessively wash my hands while I'm doing my nails right now because they're already dry enough. So I'm just going to quickly get this off. Now, of course you can do all of these steps in any kind of way that you want. You can skip around, use these at different times. Whatever you want is up to you. But today I'm doing the full thing that I would do at a nighttime routine. So next up I'm gonna use a cuticle oil. This is Stella Chroma in one of their new scents called Spiked Watermelon. And she also has a nice brush applicator. So I've cranked it, it's good to go. I'm gonna put this on my cuticles. And this brush is kind of stiff, so you can actually also use it to kind of push back the cuticle, which I do like. It's also a flat brush, really love it. And it smells really good, it does smell like fresh watermelon. It actually smells like our watermelon frosé that we make. So I'm gonna do this to both hands. And then I'm gonna let it soak in for a bit because that's what I normally do in this night care routine. And then I will show you some products that I use throughout the day or at the very end of the day that I don't necessarily use in my sit down, do my nails routine. They're just like throughout the day products. So my throughout the day products are by Zoya. I love their Naked Manicure Hydration Hand and Body like set. They have this serum that's in this little spray bottle that you spray onto your nails and it's supposed to like lock in the hydration. I, I don't necessarily know what that exactly means, but I know if I spray this on and like rub it on like lotion, it does feel really nice and my hands do feel more hydrated. So I do really like that. And then it has a 
um, lotion to pair with it, which is not showing up on this camera. Um, but it's the Naked Manicure Hand and Body Healing Cream, and I love it. I've had this since they released it, and it's still lasted me a long time. And just like a little bit like that works, and then you would typically use this right after the serum. But like I said, I'm going to be washing my hands off, so I'm going to actually just put this on my arms for now. But it's such a good lotion. I am usually so picky about lotions because they make my, like, they feel nice at first and then they feel like super drying or something. This one doesn't do that, so I absolutely love it. And it has a really light scent. You don't notice it too much. So if you are super sensitive to scents, this is probably really good because you don't really notice it. So, like I said, those are kind of my throughout the day products or at the very end of the day before I'm going to bed or going to go watch TV or something like that. Now, there is another product that I want to mention that if my cuticles are like super, super bad or like you can see like white dry skin, I will go in with this super intense, it's literally called that as well. If they're like super dry and you can like see the white on your fingers like the other day we were out and you could like... You might be able to see it here, but you can see like white dry skin in there. If that is the case, I will put this on. So this is the Celachroma Intense Butter Balm and it is very fast working, I would say, and you definitely notice a difference. It, it You can use it on any parts of your body. So dry skin, be lips, elbows, hands, cuticles, heels, whatever. I actually need to put a ton on my feet, but since it has cocoa butter in it, and my dog's obsessed with looking at everything right now. I have not. But you will, it's like super soft kind of balm-like texture. But it like melts in your fingers. So when you put it on, it's kind of like putting, like it melts into like an oil almost. Let's see if you can see. I'm going to put it here where I've been super dry. And you can do this as like a super deep hydration for cuticles or whatever you would like. And it's definitely something that you want to put on when you don't necessarily have to like touch anything afterwards, if that makes sense, because it will make your hands oily. It will absorb over time, but it does leave an oily residue, but it's super hydrating. So that is another product that I absolutely love. And then lately, anytime I've been swatching or doing a lot for videos or something to that extent, I've also been doing a sugar scrub at night. Now there are various different brands that I like. I love the Moonshine Manny ones. I have a Tree Hut, actually I have a few Tree Hut ones that I love that you can actually pick up at Target or Ulta. But if you're shopping online, you can of course get those or you can get a Moonshine Manny one or a Stella Chroma one. And that is the one I have here to show you. I have a new Stella Chroma one that is gonna be releasing in the June Polish Pickup. And this one is called Spiked Watermelon, so it matches the cuticle oil that we just used. But it has a really nice texture, as you guys can see here, a little bit goes a really long way. And it does lather up a little bit. So I'm actually gonna go use this off camera and then I will be back to finish up this routine. Okay, now I have gone and used the scrubs. My hands feel amazing, super soft, and they are ready to be done. Like I said, I don't necessarily use all these products at once. I do always use the cuticle remover and the cuticle oil in the same lineup, and then I would either start swatching, and then at the end I'll do some more cuticle oil when I finally like set on a color that I'm gonna wear for a while. And then the Intense Butter Balm I use as needed. And then the Zoya Duo of products I tend to just use throughout the day or whenever I feel like it. And then the Sugar Scrub I do use on a rather normal basis. It just depends on how many polishes I'm swatching, if I'm swatching a lot of glitter polishes, or if I just want like a really nice kind of like full pamper my hands type of setup. So all of these have been really helpful. I've definitely been doing a lot more sugar scrubs lately because they definitely help with the hydration and the like flaky skin from using a lot of sanitizer. So I definitely would suggest one of these and of course a cuticle oil. And right now I'm loving these two together because they are both the spiked watermelon. So not only do they smell good, but they smell like summer and they're great for your hands and toes and everything. So I'm 
doing that. Of course, before you move on to painting your nails, you want to clean off your nail beds with some nail polish remover just to get make sure you have all the oils off so you get the best base for your nails whenever painting them because oils will make your polish chip sooner. So you definitely want to do that, which I'm going to do right now because I am off to film another video in just a few moments. But that is a real quick look at my nail care routine or things that I frequent in my nail care routine. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions of products that you really, really, really like or enjoy, let me know down below and I will share some of them in the future, maybe try some or you got, I can recommend other products that you guys might like. Plus, I feel like being able to shop small right now is great if you can. The silicromas are great, but of course you can do more kind of in-store ones. If you are out and about going in quickly to Walmart or Target, you can grab a tree hut scrub or different things. So like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all back here very soon for another new video. Bye!